use of a long nucleus sustainer. Friends, in this video, I am going to introduce a bit longer nucleus sustainer which is used in pre-chopping a nucleus. I have introduced 1.7 mm nucleus sustainer previously and now for deep chamber this nucleus sustainer is more helpful. The tip length of the new nucleus sustainer which is a bit longer than the previous one is 1.9 millimeter. So, we have started the surgery, the main incision has been made, this is the side port on the left side of the main incision and now capsulorexis is done with the help of a uh, uterator forceps. First I will use the longer nucleus sustainer and then for management of rest of the nucleus I will use the previous one that is 1.7 mm nucleus sustainer. Please watch carefully. Hydrodissection is done after uh, capsular exits. We have got a beautiful golden ring because of hydrodelineation. Now here goes the little longer nucleus sustainer. It is 1.9 millimeter. The pre-chopper tip length is 1.8. So it is little longer than the you know, pre-chopper. And now I take the previous nucleus sustainer which is 1.7 mm which is little less than the pre-chopper. Yes, this one, this nucleus sustainer is 1.7 mm. This is easier for manipulation in the anterior chamber. And uh, now the free nuclear fragment has been removed. This is the other free nuclear fragment. It comes so easily. And now we just use this nucleus sustainer to divide the hemineucleus and it easily it can be divided. And this is a totally unedited recording and by this time in about 2 minutes and 20 seconds we have come to this much. And now I am using the hand piece itself for removing most of the cortex. I have learned this technique from my friend Dr. Neto Rosatelli. It can be done and uh, you, it has a learning curve and once you learn it you will enjoy it. There is a little speck of cortex at around uh, sub incisional at around uh, 10 30 o'clock and I am using the very thin uh, Simco 23G to remove that speck of cortical fibers and it is done. And now is the time to do hydro implantation of a uh, lens. I am using a B cartridge. B cartridge is useful because it does not compress the optic of the intraocular lens much. The lens, the lens, intraocular lens does not get stuck at the wound. So for this we need to enlarge the main wound by 0.1 or 0.2 millimeter. The wound that was 2.8 is 3 millimeter now. And now here goes the lens. The lens goes in the capsular bag. We just have to dial the lens a bit. And whatever visco molecules are there in the lumen of the cartridge is irrigated out. And this is the uh, antibiotic moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And we are done. A final lavage of the anterior chamber, the anterior chamber is formed nicely and the case is concluded. So thank you very much. In this video we have seen use of two nuclear sustainer, a longer one for pre-chopping and then management of the segments by the shorter pre-chopper 1.7 mm.